guys, welcome back to the Five Eastern Drip and Farm for Poverty. So, uh, another walk and talk uh, exploration of the Kingdom of Wonder, as they call it, and just some uh, some morning reflections. Talked about this in my other videos regarding the culture and the people here. So, want to give you guys some additional insight and perspective because um, I always talk about 60% of the world's population makes less than $300 a month or $10 a day and want to show you what that looks like. So a lot of businesses have um, security guards that they hire and I've talked to a couple of them um, and what they end up doing is the security guards actually sleep outside the building. So they're actually 24 hour security. I know you can say, okay, it's not security because they're sleeping, but uh, these two um, are sleeping here. They protect the bikes and stuff that belong. Um, this one actually has a dog with him. That's pretty cool. Uh, so they, they'll uh, cinch up hammocks like that and they sleep outside the venue. So they're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They do get, from what I was told, two days off, but it depends on the security company. So some of them um, literally don't get any days off. They actually will kind of shower outside as well like a bucket of water and a hose um some security get to like sleep in a garage like a parking garage um some of the employees that uh or contractors sorry that do uh construction sleep in the building that they're actually constructing <laughs> um it's crazy so and all this again for you know ten dollars a day and when we built our gym we were we hired a contractor and that's what he had paid his employees. So I know that for a fact that that's quite common, <clears throat> but at least his guys were making $10 a day and they worked about a 10 hour day, 12 hour day. Uh, but a lot of these people uh, work longer hours for less pay. Uh, some of uh, the security are actually lucky. So this is uh, one of the main bank branches here. And um, these two security guards get to actually sleep inside um, with air conditioning and fans. So they're actually a little luckier than others, but uh, many, as I showed you, can uh, sleep outside. Uh, the other cool thing about the culture is they're actually quite active people. So right now it's already 530, but they get up around, shoot, I don't know. The streets start pulling in around 430. They get up and walk, uh, do like some kind of morning exercises. So very active uh, population of people which is really cool to see sadly though the Western influence of uh, foods is coming here and you're starting to see small children that are already probably a porch approaching type 1 diabetes uh, there's there's literal businesses called like uh, tiger sugar um, something else sugar I can't remember but basically it's a uh, coffee flavored sugar water <laughs> Coffee flavored sugar water be the best way to describe it. So it's coming. There's Pizza Hut there. So we are our Western ideologies and values are definitely creeping over into other areas and you start to see the effects of what happened to us 20 years ago happening here. Here's a couple more security guards. So this guy's out in front of I think a coffee shop. He's sleeping out there. Another uh, primary means of income is uh, tuk tuk drivers. So you see this little a uh, small vehicle sitting here. Um, this is basically Grab, or I'm sorry, Uber. And um, it's, uh, they're in Bangkok, they're here, they're in Vietnam. So it's quite common mode of transportation, but the drivers also will sleep in those vehicles. So they, uh, some of them again on average 10, if you're a good driver, $15 a day, but it all depends on whether or not, let me switch this around. It all depends on whether or not you get uh, rides, if you can, you know, grab a client quick enough and the fare is far enough. So there used to be, they're hard to find now, is there's more of a traditional Cambodian vehicle called a tuk-tuk. We call those tuk-tuks now as well. But um, it was kind of like hailing a taxi. So you had to stand on the side of the road and hope you could catch somebody's attention and then kind of bargain <laughs> what you think the fare was worth. Now you just use like an Uber app, which is called Grab, um, and you pretty much can get anywhere. So you just point the, click on the map and go. It's pretty cheap um, and fairly convenient. Phnom Penh itself is kind of small, but it does have some insane traffic issues once um, people start going to work. Right, your typical traffic hours, seven, seven to nine a.m. and like uh, four to six p.m. 
All right, that's the walk and talk culture for today. Lift daily and achieve your impossible. See you guys.